Courts in the Weather Center, getting you ready for what could be a record tying high temperature in Chico today. That's wow. right. <laughs> You know, Kelly, when I take a look at the seven day coming up, I did mark which days are going to tie records or potentially break records. And it's more than one. I'll tell you that right now. You're going to have to wait just a minute to see this. But what's going on for today? We have hot, breezy, and dry conditions out there. That's elevating fire danger due to the winds in the dry conditions and dangerous heat on tap for the next several afternoons. In fact, even through this weekend. Getting a look outside right now, the Sundial Bridge in Redding. If you were going to take a stroll across the bridge right now would be the time to do it. Temperatures are going to be heating up very rapidly. Heading through your Tuesday, excessive heat warnings going into effect for today at 11 a.m. in the Valley in Foothills, lasting now through 8 p.m. Sunday. This, this has been extended by 24 hours now. It could be extended into early next week as we see temperatures that are almost as hot. Heading into next week's forecast, Wednesday at 11 a.m. through 8 p.m. Saturday, the excessive heat warning in Trinity County and excessive heat watches issued for Siskiyou and Modoc County zones starting Thursday. Temperatures right now, 70s to 80s in the valley, 70s to low 80s in the foothills, and we're in the 50s to low 60s in our mountain zones. The red flag warning for high fire danger in effect now through 8 p.m. on Wednesday due to the gusty north winds and the dry conditions. Humidity dipping potentially into the single digits. Gust tomorrow up to 45 miles an hour. This morning we have sustained winds up to 16 miles an hour out of the north in Red Bluff. Gusts 30 to 35 miles an hour along I-5 early to midday. Not as bad this afternoon, but picking up again tonight to 35 miles an hour and then 40 to 45 mile an hour gusts. Not out of the question early to midday tomorrow before those winds do start to diminish tomorrow evening. Still a little breezy for our taste, but then they're lighter on Thursday for the 4th of July. So some decent news there. Winds diminishing in your extended forecast. Humidity not recovering well overnight. 33% or less across the board for the valley. Remember, the lower those values are, the drier our air mass is and the easier it is for fires to start. That's why we pay such close attention to those. Satellite and radar clear skies overnight into this morning as high pressure off the coast, a dominant ridge of high pressure builds inland. This is going to be the dominant feature in your forecast, driving the sunshine, the dry conditions and the heat. We do have low pressure off to our east that's driving the breezy to gusty north winds today into tomorrow as well. So what's going on as we move through your extended forecast? Sunshine across the board for the valley at 8 a.m. Sunshine across the board for all of us at noon and 5 p.m. as well. It's just clear skies tonight. I could extend this all the way through the middle of next week and the current projections are just showing sunshine in the day and clear skies in the overnight hours. I'll extend this into Thursday for the 4th of July. More sunshine out there. Clear conditions for fireworks viewing, so good news there. But boy, it's going to be bright and hot. Get ready for that. Temperatures today, triple digits now projected for Trinity County. 103 degrees in Weaverville will end up in the 90s for the most part in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothills in the 90s, lower triple digits for your Tuesday afternoon. And 109 degrees for Redding as well as Red Bluff. 110 in Anderson today. 108 projected for Chico and Orville. 109 for Willows. Temperatures getting up to the record for Chico today. 108 degrees tying that record from 1950. A new record set on Wednesday, 111 New record tied for the 4th of July, 111, and new records Friday and Saturday at 114, and then 110 for Sunday. Reading hot today and tomorrow with 112 on Wednesday, 114 tying a record on 4th of July. A new record of 118 Friday, 117 Saturday, new record of 113 Sunday. Kelly, record setting heat on the horizon for several sustained days in a row. This is why you really need to be cautious, and then overnight, only dipping into the mid to upper 70s through the weekend. Be prepared. Dangerous heat is here. I don't think I've seen a stretch of that high of temperatures ever, or it's been a very long time. Yeah, to see multiple days in that seven-day forecast for both Chico and Redding setting or tying records, daunting what's going on. Okay, thanks, Cord.